and the Edge Malaysia this week. Strawak Premier Tan Sri Abang Johari Don Obeng is continuing his predecessor's efforts to reclaim the state's rights under the contentious Malaysia Agreement 1963 and chart its growth path. In an interview, he says it is not demanding too much and emphasizes the importance of autonomy to avoid being plagued by the problems in the peninsula. He also talks about Sarawak's pivot towards being a green economy as the state plows more resources into the development of its renewable energy sector to achieve its goal of becoming a high-income economy by 2030. Meanwhile, in city and country, known for its niche businesses and popular food stalls, the older parts of Pudu are beginning to see a change from the area's latest redevelopment projects. But while new developments bring more interest to the area, some of the older shop houses are slowly withering away. Property consultants share their thoughts. In our options pull-out, those who profess to a love for all things Terpsichorean need to make a cultural pilgrimage at least once in their lifetime to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Kajuraho in India during its celebrated annual dance festival. Also, principal dancer Gita Kasri shares snippets from Sutra Foundation's recent triumphant staging of Jaya Ram at the 49th Kajuraho Dance Festival. Meanwhile, in the Edge's monthly ESG pullout, for years, women have been fighting for equal opportunities, with the Securities Commission Malaysia and Bursa Malaysia pushing for a higher representation of women on boards of directors. Concerns about token appointments and biased hiring practices have triggered conversations on whether it goes against the values of diversity, equity and inclusivity. Details on this week's edition of The Edge. Save by subscribing to us for your print and or digital copy. The Edge is also available on Apple's App Store and Android's Google Play.